Attention! This video is made for scientific and educational purposes. The video does not violate YouTube's rules. Link to the document with links to the original video and quotes in the description. Hi! Welcome to news from the world of weapons. And today we will talk about the latest news about the Turkish main battle tank Altay. What about the production of the tank, what happens to the engines for the Altay tank and when to wait for the first full-fledged tank? All this is in today's video. Let's get started. As is known, the Altay main battle tank mass production contract was signed between the Defense Industry Directorate SSB and BMC Automotive on November 9, 2018. Within the scope of the signed agreement, BMC would produce a total of 40 Altay tanks. However, Altay's mass production could not start even though it was about 1.5 years after the mass production agreement was signed due to the supply problem in the engine. President of the Turkish Presidency Defense Industry Dr. Ismail Demir, during the press conference said, We have a contract for the Altay tank, such as T0 plus 18 months. T00 is the next stage for us, after the prerequisites are met and ready for production. The company cannot start the T0 when it does not have a power pack motor and transmission. In the event that the application for the power package is not finalized, this zero-month period does not start, as we could not start the T18. We had 18 months before we made public, we waited for the previous application to be concluded. This application has not encountered a positive or negative answer at this time and is pending. However, our search for alternatives for the power pack is continuing rapidly, and we hope that it will end soon. After the power package is completed and the production line qualification is completed, the T0 phase will start, and then we will start 18 months. Had made explanations. During the online panel organized by SETA Foundation, President Demur made important statements regarding the Altay main battle tank. By the way, if you want to keep up to date with the latest military news and news from the world of weapons, you must subscribe to our Telegram channel in order not to miss anything. Link to the Telegram channel in the description. In a statement made by President Demur, work continues in two different power groups. We are talking about a process that goes by putting these studies on top of each other and not only the power system but also a series of its components were developed together. In this sense, our companies have created a certain competence, they have accumulated. On the other hand, they carried certain collaborations to certain maturity, especially in terms of the earlier production of the tank. The level of maturity is in a very good condition, but I do not want to say it before the exact signatures are made and announced. However, I can say that we are at a good point there. In addition, we have some spare engines. Starting with these, we will enter a certain tank production process. They will be produced until the other domestic solution comes into play. Expressions were included. We remind you that this video is made only for scientific and educational purposes. It does not violate the rules of YouTube and all links to quotes in the description. After the statement made by Mr. Demur, the question was asked by many people that the number of Altay main battle tanks can be produced with the engines in hand. According to the information I remember from the development stages of the Altay program and from various sources, we currently have a total of 883 power groups consisting of MTU MT-295 engine and color HSWL-20 transmission. Of course, I do not think that this number includes two power groups for prototypes that have reached a lot of working hours. As can be understood from Mr. President's statements, BMC will start the production of 20 tanks with the power group at hand, until the negotiations on the supply of engines are concluded. Thus, since the T0 phase will be initiated and the production line certification will be completed, further delays will be prevented in case of a final agreement on the engine. Production will continue from the 21st tank with new engines. I do not know if any work has been done about production line certification in T0 stage. Assuming that the T0 phase has been completed today, the first Altay tank will be delivered only 18 months after that, in December 2021. Of course, possible studies carried out so far may shorten this period. Thank you for watching this video to the end. Subscribe and watch our other videos from the world of weapons. See you later.